Hey what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here and today I am taking a look at The Legend of Zelda Hyrule Warriors which is a brand new Zelda game that's going to be coming to the Wii U in the very near future. So this game actually does look pretty cool, I mean when it was first unveiled I was a little bit skeptical because after all this is a Zelda game that's basically turning its back on everything that has defined the series before in favour of more of a high action, combat focused crossover. But as Nintendo's revealed a lot more information about this game and has even allowed gamers to try out this title at different events like PAX Prime, I'm definitely beginning to warm up to this title. I mean, yes, it's got a lot of new elements to it, but it does have a lot of classic gameplay as well, and I think that if you're you know, a Zelda fan, you're going to love this game just as much as any other. Now there's a lot of different characters that are actually going to be coming to this game, there's you know, characters taken from across the entire Zelda universe, and you know, I'm not exactly sure how the story is going to explain that, but I'm not too worried about that, I mean, it's just really exciting to be able to control different characters besides Link that you just merely observed in the past, and then actually you know, see how they handle and see what you can do with them. Now each character is their own unique style, and you know, you're, you're playing as each character slightly differently, and also you know, the graphics for each character are also pretty different, so you know, in some ways this is a game that has a lot of replay value, because once you get tired of playing with one character, you can easily just switch to another one. Now, obviously, the gameplay isn't too deep here. I mean, Hyrule Warriors, I mean, it's sort of a little bit repetitive as to what you're doing, but with that said, the roster of characters is so vast and varied that once you get tired of one character's moveset, you really just can move to a new one, and I know I keep saying that, but that's what I really do like about this game. Also, each character can acquire new items in the midst of a battle by finding and opening chests, which is really familiar to anyone who's ever played a Zelda game. Now that means that other characters like even Ganondorf or any other character that you're going to be playing as, you can use items like bombs, arrows, and potions in the midst of a battle, which is a pretty unique occurrence. Now there are a lot of enemies on screen at all times and pretty exaggerated attacks, so it, you know I'm surprised that this game actually doesn't stutter with any sort of lower frame rate. So far, all the demos of this game, it's run very smoothly, and you know in some ways this is a proof that the Wii U is actually a more powerful console than people are giving it credit for. I'm definitely optimistic about this game, and I'll definitely give it a full review when it does release. So let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.